Hi, this is Rob Beardsley, and today I have another book review for you. So, I just finished taking a negotiation course online, unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, by Professor Stuart Diamond at Wharton University, and he wrote one of my favorite books of all time, Getting More, uh, by Professor Stuart Diamond. And this is I read, I've read a few negotiation books, and this is by far the best one, and it is the most, what really hit me when I first read it is it's the most applicable, you know, self-help book I've ever read, right? So many self-help books are about spirituality and, you know, um, manifestation and things that are just hard to really conceptualize or really implement into your life that very moment. But the wonderful thing about getting more is everything he says is super actionable and, and he uses a couple examples all the time. For example, you know, you can go in and negotiate about a piece of bubble gum at the gas station and you can also negotiate a billion dollar deal, which he's done both. And he encourages you to, to do both as well. You should always be negotiating. And so one point he makes a lot as well, and this is all fresh in my mind because I just took his negotiation course um, in, um, you know, over Zoom. Uh, so he says, People, if you ask them, how much, how many hours per week do you negotiate? People will say, I don't know, one, two hours, five hours, depending on their job. And the, the right answer is probably more than 40 hours a week. You are constantly negotiating. Every interaction you have is a negotiation. Um, and you could also compare it to sales, right? A, a lot of negotiation and sales are, are blurred. And so one problem I see right away is negotiation kind of has this bad um, rap, right? It kind of has this negative connotation that you're negotiating and you're you're arguing and you're trying to get something. But really, a negotiation is just any interaction where you have a goal and the goal might be mutual or the goal might be adversarial, but you're trying to get more, as the book says. And unfortunately, negotiation um, theory has a pretty bad history. And, you know, only up until maybe the 2000s or late 90s, did negotiation theory really change this collaborative versus competitive frame? So the idea back in the old days was, you know, you want to keep all your secrets private and you want to, you know, hold the information close to the vest. You want to, uh, you know, have a win-lose or, you know, put them in a bad negotiating position, right? Make them feel weak. Um, all that stuff, you know, maybe works sometimes, but in a long-term relationship, which hopefully if you're in business, that's what you're going for is a long-term relationship, uh, really doesn't end up working out. So, you know, I've been on the bad side of a win-lose negotiation and it just made me say, okay, fine, you got it this time, but we're never going to do business again. And if you're, you know, if you're operating that way, you're going to burn lots of bridges and it's not going to end up getting you more in the long run. So back to the book. So I encourage everyone to definitely check it out. Again, it's my favorite book. I did write a book review on it. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, that was a long time ago when I read it for the first time. I've actually now read it uh, three times and listened to it on Audible once. So it's something I've committed to rereading once a year because I think it's so uh, important. Um, so yeah, highly encourage you to check it out.